Hi guys! So today I just want to do a quick review on the new MAC foundation, the Mineralize uh, SPF 15 foundation, and it is a cream. And it looks like this. It's, kind of a, it's pretty big actually. And you open it up and it's got like a really, it's got a mirror like always, and it's really thick. And then it's got the product. Please excuse my nails, they look terrible. This is what it looks like. Just very creamy, and then underneath, this pops up, and then you have the sponge, like always. Okay, so first off, I really like the packaging because it's really thick and it's like heavy duty and everything. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. Okay, so the product, mine is in NC15. The reason I'm at NC15 is that... I was at NW20, but it came it came out really orange and just disgusting, and I was just like, whatever, this is so nasty. So I just returned it, and I have not bought. I've tried. Well, I've tried a lot of Mac foundations, and I've returned every one of them because they they suck. To be honest, they really do. The color it oxidizes so orange on my skin; it's unbelievable. So I was like, oh, whatever, this is a, a cream, and I've never tried a cream, and I'll just go with a lighter color, and I'll try it out, because um, the girl that works there, she was she always tells me, like, everything about the new MAC products, and how they work, and sh she knows me from forever ago. So, yeah, she was telling me about this, and I was asking her some stuff about it, like, the coverage, and she said it's a, it's a light to medium, but really it's a light, maybe little towards medium, but it's really light, to be honest. Um, let me see. It's the color. I really like it. It doesn't oxidize terrible or anything. Um, the product, it feels so good, and it feels really good on your skin. Of course, I set mine, but like, of course, but um, this is what it looks like. It's just a nice color. It's very creamy. And it just, it rubs right into the skin, and it doesn't have that really sticky feel, which I hate with foundations. And you always have to, like, set it with a powder, and ugh. But this one actually dries very nice, so you don't really have to use a lot of powder to set it with. Um, oops. So, I've used this one with quite a few brushes. Let me show you guys again. It's just very creamy, and I'm trying to show you guys... It's just really nice. And this one's like the perfect color for me. Which is really light. <laughs> so, uh, as I was saying, I've tried it with a lot of foundation brushes. I tried it with the 188, the 187. Um, I tried just with like a normal foundation brush. Like, um, can't think of the number, but just like a flat brush, you know. And none of them really did well. And I was like, oh, I hate this. I don't know what brush to use. And, um, so I just used the sponge, and I reused some of it. I just used it today, actually, which is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I really like it. It looks really natural. It's a lot less, um, cakey and everything. I, it doesn't look cakey. That's a big part with me. I, like, when I apply makeup... It normally looks cakey because um, they're really sticky. A lot of foundations are really sticky, and I hate that. And I hate that feeling because I just want it to be really smooth. And yeah, so I've been actually having a really big problem with that lately. And um, so yeah, I just used the sponge and I just kind of dabbed it in there, and it did really well. Um, I have a little bit of powder over top of this. I actually have my Studio Fix powder. And in W and NC20 on top because this foundation is a little light for me, so yeah. So I love this. I think it's a really good, great product. It is a little expensive. I think it was 32, 30, something in the 30s, which is kind of expensive for a foundation, especially a cream. I guess. Well, not really expensive, but you know, it's whatever. Just to try something out. So yeah, I do really like this, and um, in the comments below, or do a video response, or private message, doesn't matter. 
Um, so I'll see you guys very soon. Hopefully this helps a little bit. If you have any um, anything you want to know about this product, anything at all, even if it's like kind of stupid or whatever, just ask because I'll tell you. Um, I've been kind of backed up on comments and everything. I'm sorry. And tutorials and requests and all that stuff. So yeah, just leave it below and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.